I wasn't originally planning to make this video mostly because I'm no expert in makeup and I'm not massively comfortable appearing on camera with absolutely no makeup on but I've just been watching all the Channel Mum and Benefit Wake Up to Makeup videos and I really really enjoyed them. I've also just watched Bella from Along Came Jay who is just the loveliest, loveliest lady. You'll have to go and check her out. I'll link her below. She has just done her sort of mummy makeup routine video and I just loved how real and honest her video was and I thought, do you know what, I'm just going to share with you how I do my makeup as a busy mum of four. I literally have five to ten minutes in the morning to throw makeup on my face and hope that it looks half decent. But I'll show you how I do my makeup in the morning when I'm trying to rush out the door, which I always am. So all I have on my face at the moment is my eye serum by The Ordinary, which I talked about in my favourites video. It's the caffeine solution. And I'm literally down to the last little bits around the bottom, but this is my one of my favourite moisturisers, and it's the Kiehl's Pure Vitality Skin Renewing Cream. I use this every morning. So for my base, I apply it with this brush. I used to use the Real Techniques Buffing Brush, which is very similar, but I received this brush when I bought the It Cosmetics CC Cream, which I've now run out of, and this brush is really, really good. I don't tend to wear foundation on a day-to-day -day basis just because it takes a bit of time to sort of blend and buff into my skin, so I tend to go with a tinted moisturiser. One of my absolute favourites is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser, the oil-free version. I love this, and I use it in the colour natural. It is a tad dark for me at the moment. This is more of my summer shade. So I'm going to mix it with some of the Chantecai Just Skin. It just lightens it up a little bit because as I said it is a little bit dark and I will just literally dot that all over my skin and buff it in. Because it's a tinted moisturiser and it's so light I can literally do this in a couple of seconds. Concealer absolute essential don't go anywhere without it this is the soap and glory kick-ass concealer this is a bit of a dupe for the laura mercier secret concealer it's got a double pan and it's got a peachy color which is great for under the eyes and a more yellow based concealer which i use for blemishes i wouldn't say this concealer is amazing it does the job but it's not as brightening as i'd like it to be ideally but I just can't find one that kind of ticks all the boxes. I want a concealer that's really brightening under the eye but lasts really well and doesn't crease. Concealer is the one area where I feel like I don't have the best product for me yet so what do you use? I'd love to know. I don't tend to bother with a brush for my concealer in the mornings just because time so I will literally just pop a little bit of this where I have any redness or blemishes. The next step is my absolute essential, won't leave the house without it. If I'd planned this video in advance, I probably would have cheated a little bit and had my eyebrows redone because they're in desperate need. I need them waxed and tinted. I have that done. I try and have that done once every couple of weeks, but it's been well over a month and they are, as you can see, not great. So for my brows, I will just use a spoolie brush and quickly brush through them and brush them upwards so that I can see where I have to fill in. For brows, I always use Benefit products. I use a combination of, this is the Cabrow, which is like a wax pomade type product, and I also love the Goof Proof Eye Pencil and the Precisely My Brow Pencil. I have them all. So I will just fill in the sections where my brows are a bit Bars. I over pluck them massively as a teenager and that is the one thing I've already told Marion and she's only nine. Do not pluck your brows. Thankfully they've regrown relatively well but they're still nowhere near as full as I would like them to be so that's why I have to do this step. So the last thing I'll do is just brush through some of the Benefit Gimme Brow which again is in the shade number three. I'll just really quickly run that through my brows. One tip that I picked up from one of the thousands upon thousands of makeup videos that I've watched over the years is to take your brush that you use to do your foundation and just kind of buff it over the front of your brow and I find that sometimes if I've been a bit heavy-handed and I look a bit kind of severe in the middle it just takes the edge off and makes them a little bit softer in the middle I don't know if it makes much of a difference, but I just feel like I can't not do it now. The next thing I do is to add some bronzer. This is ancient and I desperately need a new one, but I'm gonna keep going till it's all gone. So I literally just dab my brush into it and do the old figure of three around the outside of my face. 
run a little bit down my nose and under my chin and across the top of my forehead. And this product is a real blast from my past. I used this all the time as a teenager and it's the Benefit Benny Tint. I was given this as a sample at an event I went to earlier on in the year and just fell in love with it all over again. I really like the colour and the effect that this product gives. It's really subtle and just gives like a wash of colour and it's a really pretty colour. I feel like it makes me look like I've just been for a walk on the beach so I will literally just put that on the apples of my cheeks and blend it out and then on the other side. It's so quick to do as well which is just the best thing. For my eyes, if I have time in the morning, I will use my bronzer again. I'll just use a fluffy blending brush. This is a MAC one, and I will just literally run the bronzer over my eye. Just adds a tiny amount of colour and definition without having to do anything too time consuming. Then it's time for mascara. I always, always curl my eyelashes because mine tend to point down. So I just use this. I think this is a cheapy one I picked up from Boots. So I've curled my eyelashes, now I'm going to just put on some mascara very quickly and I'm using the L'Oreal Paradise Mascara. I'm not loyal to any particular mascara, I tend to use whatever people are talking about or I've heard about. I like quite a lot of mascara on my lashes so I usually keep going back over them until they are as long and thick as I want them to be. This is another trick that I picked up from watching umpteen beauty videos. It's to use a nude eyeliner along your waterline at the bottom. Particularly good for mums just because it makes you look a little bit less bleary eyed and tired. It's quite a subtle thing but I feel like I really need it at the moment because Marnie's not well. And let's just say sleep hasn't been the best. So the very last thing that I do, because I feel like it only takes a couple of seconds but it makes a big difference, is to add some lip colour and I will tend to go for something nude. My favourite at the moment is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I love these and this one is in the shade Stockholm. Some mornings I skip it because I just run out of time but I feel like if I put lipstick on I just look more awake. So that's it, that's my five minute makeup routine for busy mums, it literally does take me a couple of minutes. I hope you enjoyed this video, I've never done anything like this before so please do give it a thumbs up if you did, I'd love to know if it's something you'd like to see more of. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one.